Hello, it's Gav here at Fable and this video is about Flash Forward. So Flash Forward, if you didn't know, is a sci-fi TV drama and basically it only lasted one season. I'll get into reasons why it only lasted one season, but don't let that fool you. It is a very underrated TV show. Um, so basically what happens in Flash Forward is that basically a global blackout happens where basically the entire planet um, basically goes unconscious for 2 minutes and 17 seconds and within this 2 minutes and 17 seconds they're getting like almost like dreams but they're not dreams they're reality but they're reality of the future it's called flash forward so basically loads of people have flash forwards of a future six months down the line um, some are positive, uh, some are negative, so some have negative impacts on their relationships and their friendships or on their careers and some people have a positive impact in all of those different aspects as well and then there's some that don't have any flash forwards at all and that's because they are basically destined to be killed or they're destined to somehow die before um, the actual you know, day where they meet up with flash forwards which is on April 29th so basically this show started in 2009 and finished in 2010 um, basically like the events of the flash forward was in the timeline as well so for example the blackout happened on October the 6th I think it was either October 6th or 26th well, anyway it was one of the two and basically like their flash forward six months down the line is to April the 29th um, 2010 um, and that's where everyone catches up the flash forwards, what they see near flash forward is what actually happens on that day. Basically the show follows um, protagonist Mark Benford who is the lead FBI operative of the Los Angeles office and basically it's his team of FBI agents that you see um, throughout the show were basically trying to uncover what happened, how did the blackout happen, who's behind it, will it ever happen again and can it be stopped and all these different clues and aspects to consider. Now as the show goes throughout they're trying to basically unravel all of these uh, big questions but what's key to it is that Mark Benford in his flash forward he's got a mosaic board of all these different clues and different like pathways that lead to different events within um, everyone's flash forwards but also it leads to events of him trying to stop flash is for him trying to stop a blackout and also trying to find out who's behind it and so for the entire show follows his story but um, what happens is there's a lot of segue between the other characters within uh, the show so you've got like uh, Mark Benford's wife who's a nurse at the hospital what have you and she's got some sort of strange um, relationship going on with Lloyd Simcoe who was, behind, who was apparently one of the guys behind how a blackout happened etc um, but also like the thing is with the show, you've got loads of different other characters that lead mainly from the FBI office, really. Um, and what happens is when it gets to about halfway stage of the show, it starts to do too much. It starts to be a bit too ambitious. It starts to lead down different paths of other people's story. That's not really that relevant. What seems like as though there's, a, there's quite a few filler episodes, unfortunately, when it gets about halfway, which is a bit of a shame, really. Instead of just focusing purely on Mark Benford's journey, you need to focus more on the protagonist and why you know he's actually chasing up leads and etc. Because at the start of the show, you get Mark Benford is chasing up leads and what have you, and um, <clears throat> you've got the other characters that are relevant are also um, trying their best to help out and all that sort of stuff. And then it gets like halfway, I and mean, then all of a sudden it's like as well, he puts a massive pause on what Mark Benford's doing in the first place, and it's trying to go off. On filler episodes for the characters that even that that aren't even that central to the actual main storyline, so it's just a bit, eh? What we're we doing? So that was a bit of a waste. Um. Anyway, so it picks up round about episode. There's 22 episodes in the season, and it picks up round about episode 16, and basically like, it continues with Mark's lead to you know find out who's behind the blackout and everything. And I'm not gonna reveal exactly all everything that happens, but basically there's a chain of events that happen that really do push the pacing of the show um, to its you know to its final chapter um, and it's it does a really good job with the uh, the ending as well now controversially the ending is on a cliffhanger which is a massive massive shame because there's no season two um, and the thing is we end on a cliffhanger as well we had multiple different um, paths that lead to future 
um, seasons of flash forward, but also many people's future um, visions as well that they have, or the future, and all the different timeline as well. So it's really properly thought out of what was going to happen after the first season, and then it stopped. One of the many reasons why it stopped is the writing got a bit lazy halfway through. We had a really good concept, and I just think personally, we did far too many episodes in a season. We shouldn't have done 22 episodes. We could have done, we could have literally done it in 15. 15 episodes would have been fine. That would have been brilliant. That would have been the perfect sweet spot. And then it would have easily got a second season. But we did 22 episodes. Bear in mind, you've got like a mid season break as well. So that kind of puts a halt to the actual show a little bit. But it was hosted in the UK on Channel 5. Now, Channel 5, as you know, is not a very well watched channel um, by our traditional channels at all. If it was on Sky 1 or Sky Atlantic, I can guarantee it would have got a second season. You had a lot more people watching it. The viewing figures wouldn't have dropped. Or if it did, it wouldn't have been that damaging. Um, it would have carried on going. But because it was released on Channel 5 in the UK, it had that early momentum when it first came out. I mean, also it just faded away but mainly because it never really got those massive viewing figures to begin with um, because it was on Channel 5 in the UK yes it would have done well in the US but in the UK it really wouldn't have done so well um, but if I'm thinking at the time it came out around about the same time about for example um, Walking Dead was basically coming out and that basically hit a lot of records of viewing figures in its first few seasons so there was a lot of competition when it first came out and it's a shame really because it was such a really good concept. I enjoyed many moments throughout the show, um, but there were there were moments of lazy writing, and they just didn't mark it very well. And it was distributed on the wrong channels, I'm afraid. So I wouldn't have been as gutted if the actual ending of season one wasn't a cliffhanger. It's like right, it's fine, but because it ended on a cliffhanger, it's like oh my god, there's, there's so many questions that are left to be answered and you won't know because there's no second season and that's it <laughs> no so it's really honestly it's such a shame but um, no I fully enjoyed the show um, very good concept um, it's very good how they've got the whole clues and all the chain of events all add up and it, you know it joins together in people's um, flash forwards and their timeline um, yeah I just really enjoyed it um, it's unique as well, that's the thing I like, it's unique, there's not really that many TV shows out there that have this kind of sci-fi concept of like something happens in the future, um, six months down the line, and there's loads of chain events that happen before then, and people go try and prevent it and stuff, it was just unique, it was different, um, so yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it, um, <laughs> it's just a shame we didn't get a second season, which I'm gutted about, but you know, I've got it on DVD, so I can just go back and watch it whenever I want, and just pretend that the cliffhanger never happened, just pretend that never happened, so yeah. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Stay tuned to the Fable YouTube channel for some more content, and I'll see you next time.